Hey, y'all. Hey, come on in the room. Come on in the room. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Y'all, I started off today with, um, of course, getting my kids up and down to the bus to get ready for school. Uh, I had a good workout this morning. Shout out to Bar 3. Then I had my therapy session this morning, too. So I not only did I have therapy, but I also had a coaching session, an impromptu coaching session. So whew, your girl has been in much reflection with the motion with it as well. So um, I know today's carpool is going to be good. Um, but if you are watching live, welcome. My name is Latoya Dixon Smith and I am the creator of the Iconic Woman Oracle. Um, the Iconic Woman Oracle is a card deck. Uh, there are 44 cards in this deck and it is a card, it is a deck that is designed to support you for deep levels of transformation and growth. Heavy on the transformation though, because as you utilize this deck, as you pull these cards, as you create your rituals for these cards, you are going to learn so much about yourself, but you're going to grow into more of who you are truly destined to be through this deck. Um, so for those who are not afraid to do that, who ain't scared, um, go grab you this deck. So we are currently... Um, 12 decks sold. That means there are 38 left to go before I reach my goal um, by October the 1st. Okay, each deck in the first 50 orders will include this beautiful carrying pouch as well as this mystic candle from Amaluna Botanica. Um, mm, 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 mm. This candle really did it for me today because I lit it before I came on live because I did a, a card pull for myself before I came on to do a, a card pull for the collective. And I walked outside, I had to put my feet in some grass, I had to drink my water and, you know, do some breathing techniques before I came in here because I really needed to ground and center myself before um, coming on and just connecting with the energy of whoever might be watching and or witnessing this um, this live video or who might be watching the replay wherever you might be watching it it's important it's important to do so that I'm not tethered to anything I'm not attached to anything and so whatever comes up through this experience is going to be uniquely for whoever is for okay not my stuff not my stuff um, I am just the vessel okay um, but shout out to um, shout out to sisters if you're watching this live, let me know that you're here. Say hello, drop an emoji. Um, just let me know who I'm connecting with. I, I love when folks come on these these live carpools uh, and offer the feedback that is needed to, to see what's resonating. So one thing that is different about me and how I've created this deck is that I am not the end all be all to what, what, uh, what meanings or what uh, resonates with you. This deck is designed to be an internal conversation that you can have with yourself, whether it's one that you say out loud, whether it's one you write down in your journal, however you need to express yourself through whatever the, the conversation is within this deck. I might be a I might be the um, the facilitator because the, as the creator of the card, the facilitator of that conversation. But you know what you know. And I want you to trust that you know what you know and whatever you receive and whatever you get from whatever card that is pulled um, and whatever card you pull if you purchase a deck yourself, just trust in that and just trust and know that the conversation that comes up is the conversation that you need to have with yourself. Um, there are on each each of these cards, minus one, I'm going to pull this card because this is actually the card that I pulled for myself, Sisterhood. It says, I nurture, nurture powerful circles of love based on trust and understanding that was very much needed for myself. You will see there is an affirmation um, under the majority of these cards. There are a few cards that do not because each card in this deck is categorized um, based on the five uh, Greenville Boudoir 
archetypes. And we'll get into that another day, but I really today I really want to focus on um, something that is really important to me, which is sisterhood. So I have, many of you may not even know this, but I have uh, five sisters, six, but I have five sisters. Hey, Alexis, um, I'm the oldest, and yet I was not raised with my sisters. Uh, we grew up, um, majority of the time we grew up together, there were periods of time where we, we spent more time with each other than not. Um, but I did not live in the same household as them. Hey, Shamika. And so um, it was Friday. Friday, I definitely had this emotional uh, reaction to just thinking about my sisters and how grateful for them that I am and how blessed I am to have them because they were some of my most consistent friendships. There, there's nothing like a sister. I'm gonna tell you, there's nothing like a sister. Um, and I'm grateful for the lessons that my sisters taught me, especially having lived in different households um, because there could have been, I, I know that there are situations where given the dynamic that we were um, born into, um, there could have been things like jealousy or competition or all these things. I never, ever, ever, ever got that from my sisters. They never, ever made me feel any way but loved and supported, um, always there for each other. I, Anytime my sisters are doing anything, I make sure I show up for them. Birthdays, graduations, uh, kids' birthdays, like I know that when my sisters have something, I'm gonna show up, I'm gonna do my damnedest to show up for my sisters. And what I learned from that is that my sisters have set the bar really high because I might be expecting that that same type of uh, love from my friendships and my friendships are different. But I want my friendships to feel like a sisterhood. I want my friendships to feel like a sisterhood. Actually, I'm not gonna pull a card. This is the card we're gonna talk about today because even as I, I'm looking at this, like it's still like so much that is coming up for me, and I want to and I want to share that with y'all. Like I want to share with you the raw emotion that comes up when I talk about this. So again, this card says I nurture powerful circles of love based on trust and understanding. You know that saying like um, what's understood doesn't have to be explained. That is true with a sister, but it is not necessarily true with other relationships that you have with people, especially I'm talking to my fellow ladies in, in the room here. OK, um, when you have when you become in proximity to other people and you get to know each other and you're learning each other um, and you're building this this beautiful connection and you are based, basing it off of love, trust, and understanding, there are some things you're just gonna have to explain. There's just some conversations you're just gonna have have to have because the, the way that we are brought up and the way that we have learned to um, uh, connect, especially in a dynamic where you have siblings, it is, it is different. Everybody's, everybody's culture is different. You know, there are people who were brought up in different parts of the world, different parts of the country, who had different family dynamics. And so you have to understand and learn, or I have had to understand and learn that the way that I develop these circles of love and trust is going to require, is going to require some, some hard conversations. It's going to require, um, or, or what may come up is disappointment because you might have these expectations that the other person did not even know about because you had it in your mind that because your sister this is my this is my sister's face because your sister would never do that to you you think everybody else wouldn't do that to you too and that's not true and it's not, honestly not fair either it's not fair um which is also why i'm so deeply grateful for my sisters every single one of them every single one of them um and the, the differences in my relationships with them and how they have grown and developed. And even in the space that I'm in right now where I desire to get even closer with them and, and form um, 
deeper bonds based on trust and understanding, knowing that we have a solid foundation. And I think that's what's important about a sisterhood or feel a feeling of sisterhood is that when you know that you start with a strong foundation, it just makes it such a beautiful space to just build on top of. It's like, like a garden with good soil. You know that the soil is rich. You know that the soil has plenty of a, a possibility um, and richness in, in its content. And you just have to keep tending to it and planting good seeds and, and nurturing the soil and tilling the soil and making sure it's got the right amount of sunlight and you've got to make sure that it has the right water, uh, a right amount of water so you're not pouring too much into it or not enough. But you know that the soil is good. And as long as the soil is good, you can you can create anything. This is so big so big and i didn't realize like how how deep it really got <laughs> until this past weekend and i i sent my sisters a text and i just told each one of them i love you and i'm grateful for you and i thank you so much for the way that you see me the way that you see me and the way that you receive me and just the fact that you just exist and you just are i'm so very grateful um and so i just in saying all of this, um, me being in the space that I'm in, growing into my iconic womanhood and knowing that sisterhood is so very important to me, it's making me be more intentional. Like, I'm just be real. Like, sometimes you got to prune. You got to snip, snip, prune. Hey, Tamika, she says the grass is greener where you nurture it. Absolutely. Hey, Korea, you got to prune sometimes because, you know, even though the soil is good, it might not. So there are some things that just for a season, we're changing season. And I see I was watching a video this morning of my friend Zakia and she was um, getting her harvest from her garden. And she said, you know, it's her her garden is done for the summer. The season for some of those those vegetables that she was planting is, is done. It's done. She did what she had to do, but that season is over and done with, and that's okay. And I think the hard part in that is recognizing when some of those seasons are over, over it does, you, you have to grieve. You do have to grieve, and there is a sadness that comes with that. Um, but the good news is, the good news is when you clear out what is no longer in season you're making way for for whatever is co to come next whatever is to come next and i know for me personally in this season of sisterhood i am definitely greatly deeply appreciative of of the ways in which my friendships have reminded me of my sisters in that way and i want to show up and 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 offer the love and support that my sisters offer me to my friends as well because again i want to be a mirror to what i know to be a, a pleasurable experience to be a very fruitful experience in having and developing um these powerful not just people who fill in the space we don't need that we don't need that but powerful circles of love based on trust and understanding okay Okay. Whew. Y'all, I'm gonna just leave it there. I'm gonna just leave it there. This is the card we're gonna we're gonna focus on today because y'all haven't seen this card yet. Um, it's a new card that has uh kind of come out. And again, I pulled this card for myself, but I wanted to share this with y'all today because it has absolutely or it is absolutely transforming me in a way that I don't even know what I don't know what's coming, but I knew it I know that it's it's something beautiful. Um, and I'm just grateful, just, just sitting in gratitude today. Um, but yes, we are 12 decks in on the iconic woman Oracle. These will start to ship in October. So if you have not gotten your deck, please go ahead and find that link below and get yourself this deck, baby, because we are on a mission. We are on a, a journey. I'm definitely on and I'm holding on because I'm not, I'm not. I'm not getting off. It's it's a beautiful ride. So we hold on strong. But I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Um, oh, goodness. There was something else that I wanted to say. I did not write it down. 
Hopefully it comes back. Oh, Shamika, definitely one of the reasons your presence at last week's fashion show was heartfelt for me. I love you. Yes, I show up for my people. Tamika too. I she knows this. I I am ready to show up. I am ready to show up because it's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing to be seen and heard and to 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 feel what it's like in real time. Not just for somebody to tell you this, but especially when you are in in um, when you're present with each other. Um you you can't you can't replicate that any other way so and when it's real it's real and i and i like the i like the good stuff i like the real stuff um also again i want to kind of refer back to one of our earlier videos about energetic hygiene i kind of mentioned it a little bit like i was coming down from um you know i was working out and then i had therapy and then i had another coaching session there was just a lot of things that were just kind of swirling around my energy at the time so again i had to go outside get some sunshine put my feet in the grass drink my water take a few deep breaths like that um i also had alexis's um spiritual I can't remember the exact name of it so please correct me alexis um but spiritual hygiene spray um it's got rosemary in there some florida water and camphor um i believe set the tone with the mystic candle also from amaluna botanica um making sure that i have a very peaceful calm serene but also in tune um uh candle a fire burning in front of me but also like the aroma from it it just takes me to that space I when I closed my eyes and I went to my my safe space I was there I was there I was there all right um again I hope you have a beautiful week uh feel free to check out if you're not ready to purchase the deck please get on the email list um because there will be um some updates uh surrounding that so again just make sure that you're connected there but yeah, y'all, this deck is the truth. October the 1st, we're going to start shipping them out. And it's also um, my goal for having my first 50 decks sold. And right now we are at, um, is it, I think we're at 13 now. Oh, goodness. Okay, 13. So yeah, um, a little farther than I thought we were. But we're going to keep pushing. Meet me here tomorrow. I will say noon. Noon-ish. Noon-ish. It's on my calendar for noon. But if I need to take some time to, to get grounded before I come on here, just know that I'm going to do that. Um, but I will see y'all here tomorrow one way or another. Have a great day.